Let's talk about a free plugin that's going to save you a ton of time. Go to Marketplace and Unreal Engine, search for Physical Layout Tool. Go ahead and install that to your engine. Select the one you're using, install. It'll take a little minute. Open up Unreal Engine, go to the Plugins panel and type Physical Layout and enable that. Restart your engine. Then go find an asset you want to basically drop into the space. You can enable Nanite, Nanite and then adjust the fall off so it renders correctly and save that. Add collision, auto collision, apply that, save, you're good to go. Now go in, open the plugin under the panel, the uh, drop down panel, physical layout model mode. Adjust some of these settings. I usually like to drop this down a little bit more from the two. Go ahead and add 360. 360 gives a nice rotation to your object. Go ahead and lock these scales. And I usually drop it down based on the asset that you need to whatever looks right. Then go ahead and place with gravity and start dropping this thing in. You'll see all the rocks start kind of falling around and they're working their way into the place that they want to be, basically based on the collision, bouncing off the uh, existing objects in the space and reacting to each other. So you can quickly see how you could just paint these things onto your scene, saving you a ton of time in trying to place each one of these little rocks where you want. Once you feel like you got it where you want, hit bake all paint placed actors to one instant mesh and it basically creates one actor with all these objects in it. They're still selectable individually, so you can select one and uh, scale it up, change it, rotate it, however you want to do for that one particular actor. But they are grouped into, the, um, into one instance. So now let's look at a different rock. I'm going to put these on top of um, these cubes here and just let them react. So you can see how they're bouncing all over the place. That is because we don't have the dampened velocity set. So they're just going to jump around and um, react all crazy. But in the panel off to the left, press um, damp velocity up top. And now they're going to react a little bit slower and um, not jump around so much. They're still going to fall with gravity into place. You can see I forgot to lock my thing so I got a little skinny skinny rock here anyway we'll just put some more in here and let them fall around and then we'll go ahead and bake all these and it stops the movement and they're locked in so now you can see that they're an individual actor um, all grouped together. Those are some rocks that were on top of other rocks that I deleted earlier. So let's take a rock and fill it in around all these, these larger rocks. We'll go into our uh, plug in here and do place actor, place paint place, and change all these settings the way we want.
making sure our damp velocity is turned on. You can see how they're just sticking there, not really moving. We gotta turn on place with gravity. Once you do that, then they'll start falling with physics. So the cool thing is once you've got some larger features placed, you can kind of go in and just paint these, these smaller um, objects around them and they'll kind of just fall into place, add a lot more detail to your scene and um, give you some interesting stuff without having to hand place each individual rock. They're making it extremely fast. And I, th I think this is probably most useful for rocks and things like that. Um, probably less useful for too many other things really to tell you the truth other than like little decorative objects you want to look like they're all randomly placed but that's it and uh, pretty simple process just bake them in once you're done and um, you're good to go if there's something you don't like you can just select it and delete it and you'll be able to get rid of that object um, but then you've got total control over these whole things as one big instance and you can move them up or down or adjust them however you like and uh, that is it hope you found this video useful and subscribe thanks